everyone, this is your captain, Fantastic Worlds. Welcome you back to USS, still nameless, I've been reading through the ideas you have there, I might decide by the end of the episode. Um, back to the sunless sea in Lovecraft Country. Okay, so this is our second captain, the first one having been devoured by an Arctic version of Cthulhu when they went too far off the map. Never do that, by the way. Maps are there for a reason. So now we are currently doing the um, next one. I'm sure we'll lose him too. Um, somebody suggested this time around I don't keep the map because I didn't notice I wasn't getting the points for discovering new ports. Um, yeah, that makes sense, actually. Besides, the whole reshuffling is good anyways. Plus, I'll be able to keep something better. I mean, I'm kind of... I'm not even sure I'm going to get attached to this guy or give him a background because I really, really, really feel like he's not going to be long for these worlds. Hold on to my water out of the way. Anyway, so let's dive in and go. Well, oh, well, that happened. All right, so we're back here. Okay, so university's locked. But we need a secret to do that. Visit the Rose Market, carouse in the docks, hire on more crew. Terror's actually looking um not great. Hire on more crew, don't need... Ooh, we lost a couple in the fighting. But I'm actually not going to grab them, simply because I want a couple slots open in case we come across crew along the way. Put your ship in a dry dock, offer passage to a tumor. Okay, so this one doesn't actually give us money, but it does provide... We do have to go there for the Admiralty anyways, and the Claudry Hair plot seems to be involved with that, so that's a good thing. Um, how much supplies do we actually have? Eight. Ooh, and 14 fuel. Why does it say six here? So we're, we're kind of good for that. Recent news. We have recent news. We have a free evening. Vision of the surface. Okay, Vanderbilt. Vanderbite. So, yeah, we should be heading to Vanderbite anyways, just for other reasons. Well, Lamentable Relic. Okay. Atlantic Artifact. Yeah, I was kind of hoping we could get to the, um, we get to the, uh, university yet, but we can't. So, first things first, Dark Spectacle Night, Marie. Let's see if we got anything. Okay, we only have our port reports. So, do anything he wants from us? Visit a port? Okay. And, um, Spidal Intelligence. Okay, so... Yeah. Submit reports. Alright, so... We don't have any. I think we already did that. Okay, so, London. Mm, Rose Market. I doubt we'll find anything useful here. You never know. Honey Addled wants for Curies. Yeah, nothing here. Okay, perhaps not. Labyrinth of Tigers is locked to us as well. Yeah, we're not doing well here. Lodging. We've already done the visit. Uh, rest in a room. Reduce your terror and wound and give you a restful night. You're going to have one. Unlock with one terror. Unlock with ten echoes. It costs ten echoes. Yeah, we can, we can afford that. But what does it reduce us by? Terror lost by one? Ah, pff, screw that. Uh, we won't do it again. But, let's see. Definitely need to consider. What are we going to buy? Now, it was suggested in the comments that I consider buying things for exchange. They specifically requested... Where was it? Torpedoes. Uh, bigger guns. I need bigger guns. Damn it. Okay. I'm obsessed with weaponry. You should all know this by now. 200 echoes. What does it do? Plus 12 damage plus 12. Damage plus 12. Crew damage one. Warm up time four seconds. What the hell do we have on board our ship anyways? Yard. Okay. So we have... Um, no. Shops. Officers. Ah. Hold. Where does it say our weapons are? Let me just okay. So we have life damage six to nine, six to nine, crew damage one, eleven to fifteen. So if we were to show up in the shop and look for naval surplus, eleven to fifteen. Okay, damage twelve plus twelve. Curious. What's the one we have? All right. So this is small monsters are feeble. Kind of wish I had a better. Look at this. Torpedoes, torpedo nets, reproach. I know I'm half tempted to, but I don't think we should do that yet. We are clay. Hmm. Equips to auxiliary. What's a fabrous assistant do? Can be deployed for quicker repairs. It's dangerous work. Don't expect them back. All right, so it's one shot, basically, for them. Okay, iron and misery. Okay, we... I think this is what we already have. This is not all we have. Elderly... St Where's our engine? Yeah, we've got the elderly steeple engine, and there it is, a lead beater. Okay, there we go. 
Should be the uh, lead beaters what we got. If we wanted to upgrade, we'd buy this. Sell this for probably 50. So it'd be a total of 150. Um, don't have enough of these. But yeah, if we bought this, how many can we even keep on our ship? Auxiliary bridge, forward, aft. Yeah, we could increase our damage, which does have some benefits. We also really should be thinking about making money. Um, house division, misery. What's the per change? Uh, the mushroom, the mushroom wine was. They told us that they had this. We could also buy two of the coffee beans if we were doing the whole thing with the uh, priest and the father's bones again. Creative human souls. Ush. Yeah. I mean, okay. So we will buy three things. Uh, make sure that we'll make like two for each one of these. But um, I don't know. If I were to drop ten of these, let's say, and make twenty total echoes, and honestly, that's kind of not. Wait. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go through and start making... I need another spreadsheet. Oh, gods. Anyways, um, one of the things is what we should do, is my thought, is that we should take on the tomb colonist. Okay. Because we have a bunch of things in Vendor Blight which we want to do. We should take on... We do not need to crowds. But what's this? Straightforward challenge. Okay, so we have 30 echoes. Let's hire a more crew. Um, There it is. Uh... 80% chance you might run into trouble or romance. A comb, a free evening, romance, a child in London. Ten echoes. Hmm. All right. I'm going to at least test it out this time. We were fortunate. You lost five terror. Good. You lost 30 echoes. You now have one of this recent news. You have one of this in the free noon. You total zero. Okay. So that means also we're holding. How much more? Yeah, we can only strengthen you when you struggle against nightmares you can't more than one recent news at a time didn't realize that part we'll get to it later anyways shop shipyard yeah, the fuel seems fine at the moment especially if we're going to do a quick run because my hope is my hope is that we can actually find the places we're supposed to be going now tan and nook we've already you know gotten badly squashed out there but we need to locate some more stuff basically. And we need a Hunter's Keep and Velder Blight. And I don't think there was anything else up here, and we'll come back down around this way. Hit Salt Lions, Abbey Rock, Mutton Things, and then um, the Crimean Canal, and come back up. I just make a one complete cycle, adding this as well. We don't want to go back up here. We got our asses kicked. Devoured, actually. So, alright. What was that? Well provisioned. Try venturing. Okay, so fine. Fine, fine, fine. Let's... Let's deploy. Uh, do 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 Yeah, this is as fast as we go. Happened to have bought that engine anyways. But, again, we're not going to put any serious effort into this until I feel like that we have a damn chance of, you know, functioning properly. Okay, we'll grab up to the girls, check them out. <laughs> I like to call them the girls. And they're probably semi-immortal devourers of souls. Hey, they're probably... Well, you gotta remember, this is the same guy who did Cult of Simulator, so they're probably Legians. Those, um... Immortal, baby-eating cannibals that are really into culture. I mean, you gotta admit, if you got immortality and you're... You're not gonna have a relationship anyways, you might as well, you know... Feel that. Okay. Present yourself. Walk in the gardens. You can order the island. Report, report. Excellent. You're acquainted with the sisters. You are being watched. You will join us. Okay, so we do Lucy. Actually, let's do Phoebe. Do the story tell. Okay, so we've done this one before. Storm, memory distance, sure. New total two. Acquainted with the sisters. Gain one supplies. Lost five terror. Fragment remains unchanged at 50. You get Storm's attention, which is great. But I think that's everything. All right, so let's take off again. Launch. All right, there we go. Do, 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 do. Anyways, the map. Yeah, we're heading over to Vanderblight. Again, we'll make a full cycle, see what we can find. Dust season echo. He's even septic into the air. These are the waters around the tomb colonies. Again, the... How do I put this? The bargain basement underworld. <laughs> do, 
Yeah, nothing of interest so far here. Usually isn't going to be anything this close to shore. But, yeah. Discovered. Carissa's point. Excellent. Well, okay, we discovered something. It's good. And Carissa's point is apparently just below Vendor. Vendor... What is it called? Hor Hornman Stag. Great. And Grassy Chop of Dark Waters. Oh, okay, cool. How did we not get Horseman Stag... Horns Hornman Stag before? Like, drove right past this place. Man, my previous captain was blind. I mean, half the map isn't even filled in. Anyways, speaking of which... Let's go. All right. You brought the decaying immigrant north. Now what? Something's happening in the manor's benches. He sighs. He groans. He clutches his chest. All right. Soft explosion. His engines burst from Frostmoth's clamber from the tatters. Nothing even remains. The Frostmoth's icy wings shining takes the air, spiral dissipate, and gone. I believe that's what closest we get to death. He transformed into new life. You won't pay his fascists now. At least those belongings for sale. You gained 100 echoes. Good. You brought tomb colonists. Learn from them to dissolve. Precisely is there a problem. You lost one, gained one outlandish artifact, and you gained two supplies. Okay, that worked. Is this like a random thing that happens every now and then? All right, one tomb colonist taking all of his interest in your crew, specifically the Caldry Air. Let's do that. Tomb colonist draws you closer. Don't the Caldry Air. Away from, a little way away from the Caldry Air. Don't tell you met me, he says in a horse rasp. Your mother cut my voice. Hope to fix it so I wouldn't be able to look at my daughter, so I would never want to. <coughs> he wheezes. One second. A lot of talking. Uh, it didn't work. Operations never completely effective. Need to know my daughter's well, happy, finding enough patience, getting enough to eat and forth. In exchange for simple news, he explains himself. I'm her father. He is an ordinary engineer, not the sort of parent she'd want. If you want to tell you everything counter, you can do so by speaking with her. Okay. Or bend a plate. Okay, here are the favorite kind of light over cobwebs. There you go. Okay. One building in three seems abandoned. Okay. Search warily. The neath is really gentle. Uh no. Picnic. Creepers climb the shattered pyramid. Al blinks at you from an idol's mouth. Monumental ruins. Um, a lacane of the image of this place seems peaceful. Rest for a while. Unlock with one supply. I don't think this would actually reduce terror, and I don't actually think that's a huge thing issue right now. But, um, back up one. Oh, we have to do one or the other. Okay. Now, it's 33% chance of skill. I mean, Bad stuff will happen. Then my mirrors is so damn low. All right, no, we'll just go to the picnic. Okay, wine and sea bread. You lost two terror. You lost one supply. You and your comrades find stones to perch on a much lunch. Lavender red truffles and herring. Someone passes a bottle of green field. Adequate vintage. White crickets buzz in the weeds. A sliver of weed passes, and then the air is still. The absence of chill that passes for warmth down here. Two sailors compare tattoos. Two sailors, really? Your head swings playing with wine. Okay, cool. I mean, we're just having a great old time visit. Okay, so... Mm. Oh, what the hell? Uh, what the hell? Take three destinations in the undersea view objective tomb quality quality to learn the destinations. Well, uh, that's not going to happen with our supplies, so we'll have to keep that in mind. All right, so, okay. Port report. On the coast of the undersea, it's remarkably hard to die. They're grabbing nearly dead. They don't give up their ties to home. So then we got the port report, which is good. All right, visit the first curator. All right. We did this before, our last episode. Uh, asked. Okay, see, Captain, with me, I will go into the Grand Sanatorium, bring the colors, seven colors, pay well. Okay, ask about the Grand Sanatorium. Unless we go to Z, something has somewhere to end. Not much there. Okay, so... Listen to their last request. Seven colors. We did this one before. Yeah, we're going to accept the commission. All right, so cool. Exactly. Oh, yeah, the pages. Use the Gantt, which is meant to be their call to eat Gantt. You see, remember the Ghoul DLC, if you've been my, if you're one of my uh, Cult of Simulator people? You're beginning to see this idea of having the dead consume the colors of the past, and which means that Alexis is really intuitive to death energy. Of course, you've heard of psychopomps before. They say spirits that collect the dead, but they also collect memories and they collect essence for the next, to be stored in the underworld until it's needed, possibly for the next, uh, Iteration of creation. The ghoul DLC has you, the um, protagonist, being someone who does that by consuming it. 
by consuming the flesh of other beings and taking in the life energy and story that they have. Now, let's see, let's go to officers. And we can, of course, talk to her. Invite her to dine. That costs us a, uh, that. Meet your father. She should know the truth. But, seeking knowledge of the heart, unlocked. Uh, your father wanted familiar with the cow to heirs. Father, no more than one. You have one. Hmm, so we can't actually do it yet. Seeking knowledge of the call. I guess we have to. But to past ambition, nope. Proposition, nope. We're going to invite her to dinner, see if that works. I lost one supply and a current learning about the college of the air. The cook of flesh arrives in its shell from the claws, eight legs, body, and head. There's a deep dozen, dozen neat bite-sized piles of shredded flesh, sutured with mushroom, or pinned together with a needle of chif chiffon. I think it's like, it's like chitin, but the first thing it reminded me of. Perhaps you missed a calling as a chef. Well, surgeons, chefs, and assassins all have high, a good quality with knives. She denies it. My mother was a child of a surgeon in the first city. You might say the knife work runs in my family. There's a wicked, quick, quirkling smirk in the corner. Then there's rumors of my father. He, she would deny there's any truth in those. Okay. Now, oh, we can't actually. All right. Cool, cool. We'll figure it out later. Anyway, it's a shipyard, shops. Oh, there it is. Now, you can sell, like, the sell it. Two. If we, for example, if I grab ten, I would be having, you know, a twenty. And I'm still wait, what? Arcade of size, hollow temple, memory of distant shores. Oh, we can sell these. We can sell this stuff. Wait, what? You know what? Screw it. Sell it. There we go. All right. Recent news. Mm, we might as well just collect the damn news. I mean, we. Distant shores in Undersea University, they'll pay well for these. Okay, it probably pays more in the university, and I probably want to um, do so. I didn't even realize you could do this. Oh, you're right, we did. We don't. We can sell them. Oh my god. <laughs> They're cargo. We can sell them. The recent news note that we got some previously. We can use this for the sisters, get supply, get rid of terror. Um, hmm. All right, memory of distant shores. You know what? Might as well. Let's just, uh, I guess information is what we're going to be. It's not quite a bit, actually. Okay, Shepherd Islands, we've seen these. Accomplishments hold, yeah. I mean, no, let's, let's catch this up. All right, so yeah, basically we're going to hit here and head south rather than the Ragged Close. So let's launch. And head out. We'll basically come around the Tani Chow or whatever it's called. It does sound like something out of Lovecraft's dream, dream realms because those are actually an entirely different genre, which often, excuse me. Excuse me, need to do some murder there. At least they didn't carry off any more of the crew, I think is what they do. Um, ooh, damage the ship, though. Right. Those are the corpses, gather up the corpses. Nope, slightly reduced terror. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, two terror. Alright. Alright, cool. That happened. Emmanuel's abyss. Oh, it's the wrong cap, it can't, actually. That would be K, if it was Emmanuel Kant, who's a, um, famous, uh... British, I believe. Philosopher. I... Something about the... Okay, where is everybody? Where'd they go? They're here. They're here. You're not alone. Well, apparently we suffer from some forms of, uh... Terror. Okay. So, we're not gonna go too far north. That didn't go too well with us last time. Whoops. Wrong button. Let's see what we can find out here. Do 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 like the fact that we can eat the damn bats. Eat. Okay, creeping tentacle of fungus, seaweed, and flora. We enter the snares. Oh, that's not good. Ooh, nice labyrinth. Yeah, we're leaving now. Don't like those things. Need bigger guns. Oh, I might find an abyss over here. That'd be worth a couple points, at least. It's actually, crab cake. Well, that's well appropriate. Gods. Air trembles, a breath of change passes. Did something move? All right, so... Oops, didn't have it at full speed, either. 
I'm doing it too close. Apparently, I don't know what that seaweed stuff is, but I'm not sure I want to know. Let's hunt this bastard down. I want to be the aggressor this time. God damn it, one point, really? Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, we took way too much damage for that. I'm just testing out the systems as it were. Alright. So we don't need food. Uh let it disperse. Uh, you now have one Z story. It does look the from above the jellyfish cap look like a woman's face. She dissolves like smear paint. Alright. No idea what that's about, but we have Z story. Good, right? Rosaler tastes his head sharply the wind's blood in the wind. Yeah, that was what we just did there, kid. Alright, so where the hell are we anyways? Just north of the salt lines, which basically is our next destination. Discovered Pigmoat Isle, but it doesn't seem to have any Wait, wait, there's a train there's a wrecked ship there. Alright, cool. We can stop into Pigmoat Isle, which is still not one of our destinations. Saint Heavens! Great! Oh, I guess these ports sometimes connect to the, uh, aren't can always connected to the same islands. Oops, don't want to hit the land. That's bad. All right, let's go. All right, on a lonely desert beach, there's no habitation site, no market, only an old rotting dock. Great. There's no have okay. The stretch of sand thick. The stretch of sand thickens to a damp black earth from which sprouts stunted palms, not quite tall fungal growths with prominent caps. If someone had sculpted the idea tree for a mushroom, see what awaits you. All right. Or you step off the quay, hear clamor, shouts, and shooting. Along this, you see off, off the distance smoke rising from beyond the hill. Dots of fire flecking the horizon. Two tiny figures stand a little further away from the quay, unmoving as if waiting your approach. The following is an extract from the popular diary of Z Captain from London to Irem and what we did there before we arrived. Washed ashore in Mutton Island, it's probably serialized in an unperjurated gazette. The author's identity remains unknown. The tale of Pigmont Island, in which a delegation is made, a choice is presented, war is declared, and the most singular treasure is sought by all, and a new empire is founded with tooth and claw. What the hell? It, what? Okay. The figures were rodents. To my left was a radius Faber, wearing goggles, a blacksmith apron, and an assortment of tools. To my right was an unusually large guinea pig, wearing a helmet and a breastplate, reminiscent of nothing more than the high Middle Ages. The rat stepped forward and bowed. Welcome, Captain, uh, to Rat Star Island. Sorry, wrong. Rat Star Island. I am Edgar, second chief engineer of the third rat brigade. I invite you to avail your food and fuel at our expense. The only cost to you is a choice. The rat steps back at precisely some moment with what appears to be an ease of long habit. A guinea pig skirts, skirts. What the fuck were you smoking, Alexis? Guinea pig skirts, flows forward, makes a declamatory chirp. Welcome, Captain, to the Isle of Cavia. I am Lady Augusta de Vere Swinch of the Blackwater Swinches. Sent you all to our King Grayskgnaw, first of his name. I invite you to avail of food and fuel at our expense. The only cost to you is a choice. The two stand attention. Look at me expecting a light. I spoke to the engineer. I speak to the seneschal. I've heard more than enough. The heck? Two remarkable rodents that squatted, both seeking my support and choose carefully. I speak to the chief engineer. I write in the making. I ask the chief engineer to elaborate. He looks at me for a long measure moment for speaking roughly. We have come to this island to make a home for ourselves away from London. It's cats and snuffers. It's ratskin suits. We live as citizens of our own republic. We came with our tools, our teeth, and our clever hands, and we made a beautiful city by the light of the rat star that shone bright and blue on Mount Aramat. Ararat. The chief engineer nods towards the distant hill. One day we braved the depths of the chicken woods, and from the top of Mount Ararat, we plucked the rock star, through be our light, our beacon. But the pigs of Cave saw the light, and they lusted for it. They sent armies to rule us and steal our star. We will not permit them to take what is ours. We will resist to our last breath. Will you join us in defeating them? The Senate how did an armored guinea pig lunch look so regal? A night out of habit. The Seneschal clears her throat with delicacy to rival the Duchess' own before speaking. Gresna, our king, our lord and sovereign, full seven months he has sojourned upon the sea, conquered this land, and won the southern main. Now no fortress against him shall remain. No city wall left for him to gain, save the rats that sweep behind the mountain. Unlikely was the lamb of our deliverance. Assured be our glories in their fall. When our lady's eyes restore to our hall, the Seneschal proposes herself and added, we saw the truth and beauty of the light of our lady's eye upon Mount Ker... 
caveat. But the rats, with their guns and their chatter and their peasants' politics, stole it from us. We will subjugate them and take it back. We are a rebel, and we shall rule them with steel shot bell and a pause. Will you join us? Motherbugger. All right, let's get into war. Okay, cool. I side with the engineer. I favor the charm. He seemed grumpy but honest. I know too well what rats made weapons can do. Was her charm or fondness for London's ratskin coats that swayed me? Oh, broker of peace. Sir, the common are more numerous than the difference. Perhaps I can help them to get along. Okay. Let's talk. Chapter two, a leg and dignity. All right. So I am naturally a blue collar. So, you know, my in gut instinct is to immediately side with the chief engineer. Now, Seneschal has nobility and has, um, I mean, let's talk about this. They're talking about the lady's grace and all of that upon the island. But, but let's get clear about this. What they are is a bunch of rich people who, you know, that who uh, had a cultural treasure stolen by the lower classes that emigrated from a uh, oppressive empire to this oppressive empire. Um, honestly, I know nothing about either side. I'm actually wondering what the heck's going on. Um, a natural tendency would be to broker a peace simply because war tends to be expensive. Oh, hang on for a second. Uh, there we go. Uh, hopefully that didn't go on for too long. I do apologize if I got a little of that. The microphone slipped a bit. Okay, so yeah. Hmm. <sighs> it's also the fact that rats can fix my fucking ship. Let's go. A friend of rats. I extended a finger to the chief engineer who shook it grimly. The central hissed and chattered her teeth in disgust but kept her distance. You made the right choice, the chief engineer. Let me show you what you've got. Gain one fuel, one supply. Occurrence. Memoirs. A rat in the making. Quality is one. You now chose to help the rats. The chief engineer led me to the northern state of the island, skirting the chicken woods. We passed through it at a number of what can only be termed checkpoints, as a fierce-eyed rat shouldered their derringers and saluted the chief engineer. Sure, they came from the small colony, small than some infestations I had seen in London flats, perhaps only fifty ratus favor altogether, working diligent to fortify their side of the island. The first thing I noticed was a brilliant light beaming out into the stump of the chicken wood about six feet high. It bathed the whole settlement in a cream blue glow, and it was almost too bright to look at. By its light, I could see several raised mounds of earth, suggesting shallow, shallow tunnels. An efficiency... Efficient fishing operation was set up to the water, a albino right mending nets while others stabbed bar sharpened sticks into the waves. Further inland was a barracks with a sergeant dark drills and a small squadron of fighters. My arrival grew attention, and several rats paused in their work to look at me curiously. Welcome to Brianna, which had the chief engineer, voice warm with pride. It's not much to look at now, but it'll be once we route into our cavies. Take a stroll around by a summon the war council. With that he vanished into the mounds and left me to explore. I visit the braggot. The drill sergeant appears to be sizing up, where the few rats she around her really all they had to launch an attack with. I look closer at the rat star, an excited looking rat was peering out through smoky goggles, switching her whisper and making notes would be real paper. And on the beach, whoever heard of Matt mending a net. I finished my explorations. All right, so let's go to visit the barracks. You're fighting impressive odds. I approached the drill sergeant and went so far as to salute her, which earned me a grunt of satisfaction. The sergeant dismissed her troops and offered me a bit of chicken wood jerky to gnaw on. There's more of us below ground, she complained, but not enough. Cabbies are bigger and there's more of them. We're better with weapons, but we haven't got the stuff to make it with. Most of us came as stowaways and brought nothing but food, tools, and a fur in our back. We can fish and we can nibble the chicken woods, so but we can't make guns out of trees. You can make bows, though. Cabbies come with their own steamer and seem to have endless supplies. We raid them sometimes, but so few of us never hold up the territory gained for long. That's of no consequence. We really left a peace to build our republic. And the rat star, she added. Of course. She had thoughtfully after a moment. Well, of course, we want that, too. Chief Engineer led me to the northern side of the island. Oh, wait, wait, no. Okay, take a look at the rat star. Hmm. It's not a star, of course. Not really. But try explaining to the others. The Chief Engineer doesn't want me working too hard to convince them, since so it's better for morale. But just look at it. Look! She offered me her goggles, so I managed to work them over just enough for one of my eye to see the truth of what she was saying. It was a scintillac, but unlike I've ever seen before. Blue as a sapphire, more brilliant. What the hell's a scintillac? Something about the clarity of its color was tremendously soothing. A chief scientist officer did her with pleasure as I handed her goggles back. Those of us who have been to the cabbie side of the island and lived to tell of it, there's plenty of glow there, plenty of bright in the water all around, but nothing like this. We took it from the island's center, Mount Ararat. Only it's not a mountain, of course, any more than this is a star. It's hollow, the sweet water inside, and coral growling up the sides of it. Nothing that glows save this. It's ours now, and no one can take it from us. Okay, this is... I didn't actually expect this to be doing a witch way book. I mean, if you wanted to do that, I be doing a wolf right now, but um, head down to the beach. Um, all right, building where the green billows played. An albino rat smiles at me from this mending work, looking dainty and a bit shy. Chicken wood floats, especially when it's all dried out and sealed. So we're able to paddle out a bit and cast our nets, come up with all sorts of things blind fish, crabs, sometimes a chunk of broken tentacle. But fishing will never be good without the red star. Rat star, she said, beamed. He beamed, sorry. The only thing that only draws good fish, it keeps the scary ones at bay. I know the key science officer doesn't believe it, but I do. That light is our livelihood. 
All right, so I guess we're done here. The bells of war cancel. I was coming. Okay. Chief Engineer emerges from underground with a motley assortment of other rats. He the weapon expert, strategist, and field commander. So you're going to help us beat the cabbies, but how exactly? Tough challenge. Offer my strategic. We engineer a distraction. The LBs could use to plunder the cabbie ship and turn the tide in their favor. Uh, 33 more cents. Determined to take lead. I had a ship. I had cannons. We would steer her into the southern side of the island and have those uppity animals. 46. I had nothing to offer but advice. Um, well. Hmm. Risk the ship, possibly, but, um, strategic advice. Use to plunder the cabbie ship and turn the tide in their favor. Well, difference chance is 9%. Um, hmm. I honestly should go with the numbers here. Determine to take the lead. The bitter advice. They can clear orders of navigation. It was an accurate, impeccable, but it seemed the cabbies got wind of our intentions quickly enough, and they were able to man the guns of their ground dependence and give us a bracing doppel up for. Their ship was already sunk, but the crew provided only a tiny targets. So it was impossible. The shame we defeated a Z and a brace of guinea pig boars was bad enough. Worse was that several members of the crew have complained their triumphant we cabbies now haunts their dreams. Five terror. All right. Try again. You know what? It's just for the fun of it. We aid and found wanting. We pretended to take a rat hostage and approach the cabbies with the gift, demanding an audience with the Senshaw. The battalion circled almost immediately. Their armor and hammers clankled. They appeared and chattered. Well, 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 says the Senshaw, regarding me with ISIS. That's a reversal of fortune. How unlikely. I suppose you have no trouble slitting a slide of throats on our behalf. My moment of hesitation was all the confirmation the Senshaw needed. See to the ship, she said, and happened. Half the party scurried and up the rap sculpting board. Screaming war cries of blood. As for you, the Senshaw, sweetly, thank you very much for this gift. I assure you, it's most greatly received. More swiftly than I thought possible, the uh, central left from the rat held bound and sank her inside into chest. I skipped my life, but found myself unable to forget how the rat screamed and writhed the central. Oh, we're doing so well, aren't we? All right, let's try again. Bitterness of defeat. So, yeah, we're just going to get terrored up. Come on. A pop little hit. Thank God. The hag rats gave me information they possessed by the cabbie settlement. I still didn't praise a great deal in the spot. Perfect form of speed, stealth, and strength, and arms favored us. Our cannons letting fly a volley of shot into the beach before the cabbies could scramble on the ground and chip to man's gun. Screams and squeals filled the air. The great hush, dump, damp hush cell of my crew as the smoke cleared to reveal the torn bodies of torn bloody bodies of guinea pigs littering on the shore. Grim business by hundred. I honored my commitment to the rats and found a wealth of shintlak ringing the beach to harvest. Hail machinos. We now have pig moat isle quality is now five. Adequate. Occurrence, your pigment isle civilization quality is now four. Troubled and occurrence, your pigment spirit quality is now three. Conflicted, you have with three shintlak. You have some stuff. The hell? I invited. Okay. House of Cavalry followed. Marina's triumph at Alder and mind with celebrations the continuation of our voyage. Ah, oh, we feasted long tonight then. I invited one of the rats to join us. Okay. I interviewed in the cavies. They were crushed, defeated. The spirits broken with the light of the guard. I need, an, I need an advocate. A rat in the making. A rat in the making. Why did Dark Z? Okay, so screw it. We're getting, a, we're getting that. You know, I have one albino tinkering here. We have lost one penguin isle civilization. New soil is struggling. Couldn't leave his colony, but he relayed his request to his people. Albino rat saw mending net side float. I'm good at fixing things, he said earnestly. I'd like to see more of the world. I waited for him to gather him effects and say goodbye to his family before accompanying him on board. Okay. What is the hell does this do? Okay, first of all, let's get the officers. Oh, wait, can't do that yet. Uh, do I really want to do this? No. Murders. Anyways. To the end. There, you finish your diary entry. Final dregs of the rats, surprisingly good wine. They line up to salute you as you leave. You have one of this port port part pigmy isle, that's all for now. Your hunger quality is gone. A new nation has been founded. Yay! I think. Let's do it. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 it's a mascot. Mirror three, pages two. You know, we should just change this up when we need it. It's okay. Anyway, shops. We have no shops. This journal. It was a day. Yeah, it was a day. Should probably go now. Request repairs. Ah. Base we want civilization. Hull no more than 74. You have 50? Okay. You have 145 echoes. You have 418. Uh uh. Right. Ooh. Hmm. Visit the cabbie Keto. Mirror has something kind to its enemies. Or steal the rat star. Fuck that shit. No, I don't think we'll visit that. We could not going to request repairs either. 145 is pricey. Okay, so um, got it anyways. We should probably launch at this point. That was interesting. Where should be heading next? Head south to the to the salt mat lions. That was that was fun. Anyways, let's go. Do 
do do do do do do do do do kind of like doing the um Star Trek theme in my head there. Probably should just close this at this point. Need the extra space. You're fine. Okay, Wilbert's Abyss. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was not what I requested. Don't want the engine to blow up. Thanks. Do not double tap that. Okay, let's slow down a bit. You know, I like to slow down when I get closer to port. Uh oh. Speaking of getting Clint to port, you gotta get in there real fast. Alright, so we're staying in here for a bit. Mm -hmm. Salt lines. Alright, carry Sphinx phone to London. The unmakers are here to reduce the salt lines to rubble and block at a time. Help them carry. You need a deposit and 20 units of spare crew. We can do it. Compile first, compile the port report. Then we'll grab this stuff. All right, 26 then, lost 200 echoes. The stones weep and an maker advises you ignore them unless they flood your hold, of course. Then you should probably drop them overboard. Don't tell me that I said that. All right, cool. Uh, we don't have much else here, perhaps. Okay, so yeah, we should probably... Um, perhaps not. Okay, so... I'm gonna have to wait till these guys get out of the range. All right, then. Move faster. Try to avoid being seen. Since we're this close in, and we'll soon have this in between us, which is good. Oh, great. That two. I kind of get you two to fight each other. See if we can get past this. I don't think we're in any shape to fight anyone for anything right now. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. You know what? Just, you know, live and let live, I say. Good, you missed. I don't mind us. We're just leaving. Make sure you don't give him a straight line to, to a launch it to at. Let's hope he doesn't eat the entire freaking community chasing us, you know? All right, fed the crew, great. Um, sure. Let's uh, head into Quaker Saving. Pile the cart report there. Good, good, good. Go in that direction. Home waters. Ah, uh, excellent. All right, Quaker Haven, great. No drinks. Explore the shore, pick up a wretched mog. I've already got enough of that chat to the fishermen. Visit the hilltop. Buy supplies, buy dock, or buy fuel. And we don't need that at the moment. Um, 81% chance. Give this a whirl. Toasting the wind. You stand on the cliff top, look up at uh, the little mirror, smoke from the chimney, the cock and muggle. Yep, okay. Okay, gain two terror, gain 18 fragments, that's all for now. Excellent. Okay, chat to the fisherman, trust one, we've got the port report now, and that should be it at this point. Good. Now, with all that done, check the map. Shepherd's Isle, let's head this direction. Watch we go. Okay, so hopefully we keep out of that freaking giant um, crab zone. But yeah. Do, 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 do. Make sure we're heading the right direction. Little ships on the water here. Shepherd's Watch, the Salty Hinterland, home to hermits, nuns, and shadowy business. All right, cool. I think if we talked to the nuns with some recent news, but we might have actually chewed that up, right? We sold it. Oh, well. Or get, like, drunk or something. Okay, so where's the... Which side is the port on again? Wait. Might want to stop. Yeah, there we go. Don't run into... Yeah, it's the other side. We'll get that. And I'll sort it out in no time. Blat. Okay, so... Yeah. Okay, stuff will happen at the aisles, which is great. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, the rat thing was weird. But yeah, we were we were ruthless and Unfortunately it shot our terror up like crazy, so yeah, we're gonna have to really, really get that shed. 
And boom. All right, Shepherd's Isle. Picnic at the Standing Stones. Veco, reduce one terror. Um, no, okay, Standing Stones. All right, so let's go with the um, Picnic. We lost three terror, five Echoes. Cool. Azeros watch the Firefly Slumber Schwap shanties pass around the grog and the Z-Bats. Grass is not in the breeds. Wait, shy stones and vampirically inclined Z-Bats across the dark water, the lights of the Abbey Rock glow. Okay, so. Engage an officer, the sigil-ridden navigator. I will guide your ship. I know all Z, how it was, how it will be. Please, the headaches only stop when I'm working. This is mirrors and veils. You know what? How much? I'm burning a lot of cash here, but let's go. Thank you. If one officer, um, nonsense is a distraction for a while, but the sea can only help now. Oh God, my air, the air is clear already. Let me try to course for you. Okay. So officers, first officer, there you go. Mirror six, veils three. The tattoo groans since you look. That is a weird tattoo. Yeah. All right. So pile report, one pile report, continue. Okay. I think that's it because we got the uh, navigator. All right. So perhaps not. All right. So we're basically going to be doing some serious. Uh... Okay. So let's launch a map It'll launch out of here. Hmm. Hit Abbey Rock. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to deal with them right now. Pretty, yeah, I could probably take him, but the ship's already damaged. We need a bigger gun. That's all there is to it. We need a bigger gun. Fed the crew, great. Um, still have a lot of food, right? Okay, so we are headed in the right direction, at least. We'll compile this report, then we all head in and um, uh, head in back to London. And that with one stop over at the, at the uh, docks leading up to the thing, we still haven't found a damned um, uh, destination for the assassin we have aboard. Okay, Abbey Rock, trade supplies, no thank you. File report, okay. Okay, one report, Abbey Rock, knock at the Iron Gate, no recent news. Yeah, I think we're done here. All right, so next destination is the canal. We'll head straight through and hopefully get some Ahem. launch. Thank you. Hopefully we'll get some uh, bloody uh, mm, decent amount. Oh, so yeah, there's like rocks and stuff we didn't. Uh, classify last time. There's also a fog bank, which, you know, has its own issues. Hmm. On the other hand, it does allow us to get away from things faster. Do we even have an opportunity to map it? Is this why we don't have anything on the map? Yeah. I think this fog bank prevents us from, uh... Fog bank prevents us. Okay, little ship's throng. Got that one. There are no islands in the range. I actually hit... That's not... Let's see if we can sneak out, or at least find the um, gates to hide in. I do a lot of hiding, I know. Mm -hmm. Missed. I get graceful at these dodges. All right, cool. Let's uh, keep going. Y'all can have fun with each other, all right? Okay. Doesn't know we're here. We're gonna dive in here. Just a moment. Thank goodness, the staging area. Travel to the surface, can't do. Listen to Fripper's Gothip. Okay. You have one vision of the surface. Okay, that will that will be useful going back up to the um, Vanderbilt if we do that. And port report. All right, excellent. Okay, so now let's wait till this thing goes off for a bit, okay? Goes back to its regular haunts. All right. Explains why we're not getting a map. We can't actually map what anything's in there. Odds are our destination is probably within there. The one we story based one. We have the crew, so we're gonna need more supplies. Oops. Yeah, we should probably turn that back on. Yeesh. What are we looking at? 41. Wow. 
Well, let's get you back home, okay? No, I think we can take this. All right, ready? All right, butcher for supplies, dissect it for knowledge. Let's do knowledge. You succeed in the pages. They set to work with kni cra knives and acid. It's an undistinguished adolescent specimen of megalopsis, one of the deep Z crab species, but its eyes normally vestigial in these troglit beasts are large and rather beautiful. The glowing glow is almost gone now. You spark sleep up and then to your knife. The game are fragments. Yay. Now the question is, have we actually... I wonder if we actually have anything that's worth a secret yet. Okay. Not sure what triggered that. Let's get back up to London, shall we? <laughs> oh, fuel's not great. It's only two. Yeah, hopefully we're not going to run out of fuel on the way there. That would be bad. Very bad. Oh, thank God. We made it back. Well, it's nice and windy. you got to be kidding me. Especially with the fog. Okay, there we go. You can't track us. You can't charge us. Now we can't see us. Good, 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 good. Oh boy. It fuels low. Uh, we did some deep. I almost thought there was a helicopter there for a moment. It's like, that's a little out, isn't it? Waves are flecked with light. That's a good thing, right? Right then. Uh, sigh. Don't know how much this has actually been worth, but let's find out. And yeah, we need to get some supplies back real bad. And boom. All right, the revenue man, her enduring majesty's custom service was closely with both the Ministry of Public Decency and the Masters of the Bazaar. Hang on. Today it was like to do for an inspection. Don't check them. Don't cheek them. Let them do their worst. You have nothing to hide. This will also reduce your suspicion if suspicion is five or more. Declare all controlled goods. Play the customs duty on untaxed souls or romantic literature you're carrying. Surrender any smuggled sunlight. Use your suspicion. Unlock with zero of echoes. Talk your way out of the search. Set them aside. I don't think we have that. Unlocked with no... With no brilliant souls. No uncramped, say, no romantic literature. You know what? Then do your worst. Vexed and frustrated, they roam your deck like wolves. They tear through your belongings like termites. At last, they leave. That's right. Collect messages from the harbor master. Excellent. Something has changed in the neath. Someone wants to sign on. A blind bruiser attends to business in the dock. That's all for now. You have one another day free. Another rose market hasn't changed. It's higher than zero. Let's see about this. Yeah, I think we only have the port reports. Okay, cool. Hunter's Keep. Five Echo, Admiral's Favor, one. Hunter's Keep is confirmed. One fuel, great. Bender Blight, nearly dead. Port report, 10 Echoes, one favor. Vender Blight's confirmed, yep, one fuel. Temper Dials, submit as fact. Vender's unsubstantiated rooter, nah. Mm, port report, gain 50, 10 Echoes, favor, five, okay. I mean, Abbey Rock. No of this, favorite out of five is unchanged at five, 20 echoes, you have a new accomplishment, surveyed, excellent. Crimean Canal, five echo. Mount Isle, I'm not sure I heard you correctly. You don't have this, support report, you're quite sure this report you wish to make, so be it. Ten echoes, one favor, surveyed, paying out, you gain one fuel. All right, six, Salt Lions, it's tough, obviously an interest in that place. Okay, one fuel, 20 echoes, excellent. Seven favors so far, Quaker's Haven. One for um, five echoes, seven quality. Speak to the dark speaker. Admiral, do we have um, assistance with substance? You know, able to provide a little fuel to cover your cost. Uh, well, one point of favor gets you two to three fuel. Submit vital intelligence. Submit port reports. Relatively chart. Great game. Ask what he needs. Uh, much left. He still hasn't unlocked anything useful here. Return to the docks. Okay. London. 
What do we got? Deliver Sphinx Stones. Special Constables, Black Uniforms, Distinctive Caps. You have several loads. Unlock. Unlock with the objective. Deliver it. So you've run several loads. You've been running Sphinx Stones to London. Unlock with that. You have 20. Okay. So, deliver. 500 Echoes. Wow. To buy a better equipment for your ship. Okay, cool. And with a Sphinx Stone, again, lost two Terry. Do I sign, sign, sign? Here's a receipt. Here's a discretion contract. Here's a penalty contract. Your vision is blurred by the end of it. The cart rumbles off. Here's your reward. Cool. Visit the under university. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The maritime lives in whispers. Oh, yes. It's quite a tasty one. Let me explain to you. You lost one secret. It twists it. You now favors antiquarian. You've gained one. Pages. Good. Z story. If you have any items, scholar. Okay, we've done this before. As a tale of the deep. Thrilling. Let me hear your detail. First, I must find. Oh, yeah. Never mind. One Z story. Gain 10 echoes. Favors. Antiquarian. Increasing. A lamentable relic. Excellent. Grab that one. One relic, gain five echoes, grain favors. Two, outlandish artifact. Uh, 100 echoes, yeah, we're doing well. Eight, 100 artifact, gain one fragment. Great. Outlandish artifact, another one. 100, wow. Which is my favorite? Searing enigma. You don't have that. Dread surmise, go. Oops. Nice. All right, so, I'm the tiger's lodging. Let's uh, read the morning papers. We'll get recent news. Fragments went 95. We lost one terror. Great. Like 39. Okay. So, yeah. 29, 10 echoes. It's only going to remove one, isn't it? So we should probably... Cons it's not time to retire. Um, hmm. The Declanthron. You're a real Zaylor now. Okay. So, yeah. They're all these locked. We already did that. Splendor. Increase your hearts permanently by two. And up to 25 points of terror. Gambit. Pages by two remain unblemished. The thing we can do is this one. Hmm. They give us two points and cure up to 25 points of terror. Actually, we need this. We need this badly. Two hearts, plus 25 terror, one vision, lost one echo. Excellent. Your own, your own sweet skin quality is now the splendor. Actually, we got it. Cool. We needed that. Definitely needed that. Ah, little proposal. Marvelous. Since you <laughs> A few items of Mount Palmer Stone. Oh, God. Where is Mount Palmer Stone? We haven't found it yet. Except the commission. Perhaps you found Palmer Stone unbearable. Who could blame you? Well, perhaps you agree to another matter which might be able to assist me in. What is this one? You agreed to herd the browser out again and be given a task. But okay. You know, I must say, all the you captains I've met lately, it seems you have a knack for the sensitive matters. You might be able to help my patron. He's an introspective gentleman has been reflecting on his life. But ladies who come to regret things these years past would like to set them right. But he needs to be that mistake brought home to London. He'd like you return to every tooth still in her head if you could. It'd be certain to reward you with disposition generous yourself. Refuse. Okay, let's do it. Bring you. Thank you, sir. We'd like to retrieve someone who's long lost sore spot in my patron's heart. They called the last constable around here before she fled London. She had reports of investigating scoundrels in the iron and misery, spying on pirates in Galder's Morn, keeping the piece of Khan's heart, and watching the dead in Vanderblight. She gets around, a real hard worker, that one. Dinner blood. Anyways, don't let her come to harm if you can. We're understanding. The last has last been seen in Demu Island. The last, oh my god. Has been seen. You are looking. Oh my god. Founding the bruiser, the brown bruiser will not take offense. Check your journal to remind you where the constable might be. Wow. Okay, that's going to be fun. All right. I'm in Scholar. Your lodgings are with the tigers. I do not want to sell one. Um, there's Wharf. Nothing here at the moment. Perhaps not. London Carouse. Okay, pretty good odds. 80% chance. Reduce terror. And hire more crew. We're going to care for crew. We do, however, need to do dry dock. All right, continue. One point of favor for two to three fuel. Load bearer and stand rod shipment. Fair dad. Okay, this is the worth to go. Four costs 75 echo. Um, or this one would cost 100 echo. You know what? You repair your hull. Good enough for now. Uh, how much difficult to say. Let's just go with the shipyard one here, where we have this one. Okay, you've lost 100 echoes in occurrence. Your hall quality is now 75, just in case. All right, so with that over, we should consider our next... Oh, wait, wait. Didn't they say someone wanted to be on board? Story. Practical merchant, alarming scholar. Oh, I didn't see them. Oh, well. Carouse, hire on more crew. Put your new recruit. Where we got here? The recruit who awaits our attention. Engage an officer, the irrepressible cannoneer. Are we looking for a gunner? I'm more of the, looking for a ship. Here's my references. Here are more references. Here's a design for a whistling shell. Here's my colleague. I'll stay on the shore. Here's my hand. Will you take it? All right. New recruit. 20 echo. Uh, yeah. Cool. Let's get him. Welcome aboard. This is interesting. Room for improvement. There's always room for improvement. Wait, let me make notes. Paper. Protein new officer by dragging him the officer tab. Okay, cool. Officers. Gunnery officer. 
And we have iron plus eight. Excellent. Dun 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 dun. dun. All right, her father. We can't get this one yet. Mask yourself. Bite her. Not sure I want to sleep with the crew yet. Or ever, really. Um, yeah, what else we got? Breath can or dine with you, increase your iron. Uh, newest question. All right, nope. It's not. And let's see what else we got with officers. Uh, this one. Big two. Use your mirrors, invite him to... Okay. Answer questions about your past. Let's cost one supply. We're going to buy a bunch of stuff anyways. Seconds and thirds. His appearance. in small, hasty morsels. He is nervous. Not a gifted conversationalist. You can do his best to plug the silence. When you ask about his past, he whispers, I can't mumble this. He has to live in a sigil on his temple. It twitches like a scorpion skin. It has burned away my memories. I recall I have a brother, but I'm not his name or where he is. I remember the names of the ships I've served on. The implicit, the Bonnie Swan, but not their crew. How do you come by the sigil? He clutches his head. I don't know. I don't know. Thinking about it, it's like fire in my skull. He grits his teeth. Someone must have hated me very much to curse me, but I even can't remember it. Speak to him again to advance his story. Remember, you're still doubted. Remember, he can't recall his past. You've lost one supply. All right. So, really? All right, another one. This one. Sleep with real dreams, mumble. Dreams of bells and candles. All right. Go for it. He paces the deck. I see a lonely house lit by Talon Wick. A bell is ringing. It rings now. Do you hear it? He scratches the sigil. It's begun to bleed. Do you hear those place, Captain? Can I plot a course? A, ki the can a place of candles and bells, a chapel of lights, a northern church to which no sin is too terrible. Chapel of Lights. All right, so we got to figure out... Problem being is that we don't know where any of these places are. It's to the north, but it's been pointed out, as I've kind of pointed out, we kind of did that. Okay, Merchant Venture, I need a reliable agent. Specific needs to pay much part of rate. Won't ask you how you became by them. Okay. Um, as a request, something romantic and approved, something romantic and smuggled, something silky. None of these things so far. Even pieces of sounds. Oh my god, we have so much in here. So, so much to do. What the hell? Favors. I place favor. Seven. Antiquarian two. Audrey Air. You can closer. Is she? Is that safe? His pain is a little worse. Lineage. Captain's lost. Crap making. Goes to help the rats. Quality. We're above that. A sweet skin. Splendor. Fast. I'm sorry. The commissioned. Iron and misery fungent. Oh my god, where is that? Last constable. Delivery some salt lion. Uh, adventures, dream of the scheme. Uh, tomb colonists. Adventures desire. Oh my god, so much has to be done. So much! That's for passage. Almost safe. Uh. <laughs> Gods. I need the Iron and Misery one so, so bad. All right, so we need to story, and then we need to, we need to do browsing. One choice we have, 10 Echoes. Okay, you were fortunate. Lost five terror, lost 30 Echoes, recent news. We already got that, unfortunately. Okay, so that does, however, we need to buy some fuel. So back to the shop, let's get some fuel. How the hell do we have eight? I don't know. Um, but we're gonna get it. 12 and Eight supplies. We're gonna check out the shipyard. Uh, can we actually get a bigger ship? Um, elf class lamp pad. We need two thousand echoes. That's not gonna be enough, obviously. But hold, we could get a better gun. Shops. Okay, exchange. Hmm. We could sell these for seventy a piece, which is actually interesting. All right, cool. Okay, so right. Now, we're going to be heading back up for all the reports again. Now, the thing is, if we go back north, we're going to actually help Vanderbilt again anyways. These are actually stamped, however. Yeah, we don't know. Like I said, oof, you will surplus. Okay, so what we want is we want a bigger ship, bigger gun. Um, Let's see. This one, damage. Hull damage 12. Hull damage 14. With flash flensing attacks. I do not know what that means, but i beater... What do we want? We want... Peter gun? Wow. 500 echoes. You don't blow that much? Okay, so... What about... On a pure cannon, torpedoes... Uh, it's the only front-mounted pure cannon. Ooh. I want, I want this. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to sell this one. Okay, hold. 
What you're gonna do is you're gonna put that baby in. Oops, forward. Are you telling me I can't do that? Oh my god. I'm an idiot. Complete and utter idiot. But, you know what? This is how we learn. Besides, I'm not really attached to this character anyways. So we have to sell the damn thing, because we can't actually do it. And now we need to buy... Which one's this? Uh, aft weapon. Forward weapon. We don't have deck weapon. Thank you. Or this one. It's a deck weapon. Forward weapon. Forward weapon. Aft weapon. Forward weapon. Screw it. I mean, I'm, I'm really making a complete mess out of this. 200. It's better than the lead beater, at least. Okay, so let's go back to the hold. Put this in place. Thank you. I do not believe I did that. But it's done, and it is done. Hmm. Why didn't I sell this yet? All right, we're going to sell everything, basically, because I am an idiot. There we go. <sighs> some days, some days, I wonder. I read Fabius Assistant for Misery Company. Got this one going. I say we get the... I don't think we can't afford it. <laughs> Thousand, yeah. Anyways, we have done some damage to ourselves. Don't worry about the lamp yet, but yeah. Okay, so one of the other things we can do... Hmm. Ignore it anyways. Hmm. Yeah, well, that's one of the things we do. Oh, what's this do? Okay. Protecting inquisitive passengers and over lively cargo. Okay, cargo security plus one. Yeah, we made a terrible mistake, but we'll, like I said, we learned from it. Um, journal. We're doing okay, which is why I'm really, really feeling like I, um, full cargo, hire more crew. Yeah, I would say. One of the things we want to consider is actually the transport. Like, for example, what happens if we get the Wolf Stamp Exchange and we grab the Mushroom Wine? Then we come up to there and we sell it for, what, 20? Um, it's something, but not a lot. Hmm, we're heading north anyways, we might as well. Anyways, you know what, let's give it a shot. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to head up. We're all looking for a whole bunch of places. I mean, this is like... Is it? Uh, acquaintances, Sojourning with Sisters, Favor, 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 Antiquarian. You have to figure out... Oh, we have Suspicion 1. Time for the Cheery Man. Salt line. we should head to the Salt Line again. Let's make that run again. And this time we're going to be looking for something. Hang, okay, manual save. Save. Yes. All right. Let's see. What do we got left for time? Oh, crap. I actually have to say it for next episode. So not exactly the most brilliant and stunning episode and one hell of a mistake. But now, like I said, this is how you learn. You made mistakes. But see, that's the thing. You didn't see me before the 60 hours before I dropped the tips and tricks for Golda Simulator. I like to make all of my mistakes right out in the open and, you know, gloriously. So this is your captain, Fantastic World, saying farewell from the Sunless Sea in Lovecraft Country. Hope that you will join with us again. Hang on. If I don't get the uh, hunger up again. And I will see you next time. Like, share, subscribe, and have a good day slash night wherever you are and whenever you are. Bye. I'd like to thank my Acolyte level supporters whose contributions help this channel grow and hastens the inevitable digital apocalypse and rise to the dark lords of content and data.